Hello everyone and welcome back to Ground Zero. Now dog lovers and dog haters were back in the ring going at it again this week. It all started when stomper Magna Carta complained about a group of people and their dogs making too much noise at Botanical Gardens last Sunday and ruining his romantic picnic with his wife. Well, according to Magna Carta, dogs were running wild, barking, defecating and fighting. One of the owners even encouraged the dogs to start a fight, he said. A few stompers claim that this is an ongoing problem in Singapore. Captain Karma said, It's bad enough we have so little greenery to relax, we have to put up with dogs along with their owners. But many other citizens thought it was unrealistic to expect quiet and privacy in a public space like Botanic Gardens, especially on a Sunday. Stumper Singaporean 1976 said, Restrictions are already being enforced for most public spaces. Do the poor doggies a favour and give them a break. They need a place to run and enjoy. What happened to cheering? Yeah, fair enough. Stopper 1976, as Magna Carta said himself, there were plenty of shaded areas and all he needed to do was to move somewhere else. You can't see what the problem is. Exactly, and Chester 0606 points out that the picture Stomper Magna Carta posted show dogs on a leash and behaving. Yeah, these are the signs of good pet owners. Unfortunately, there were several other posts this week that showed how irresponsible and cruel even pet owners in Singapore can be. Stomper Dopey posted a greyhound leashed to a fence along River Valley Road. The netizen was shocked to see how skinny the dog was. It was so skinny that it looked like a deer rather than a dog, said the stomper. With their deep chest and flexible spine, greyhounds have a particularly slim build that makes them excellent hunters and racers. But in this case, it was beyond slim. The dog appeared to be suffering from malnutrition. Now that's a really sad sight indeed. Another case left Stomper Kid in action appalled when he saw a girl abandon her dog at the void deck of Telok Blanga Heights. Said the Stomper, I was sitting down and waiting for my friend under a block. A girl then came and tied her dog's leash to the pole and walked away quickly. I was waiting for my friends for about two hours and still its owner didn't return. Now, Kid in action said the dog started trying to free itself by biting onto the metal leash but it failed. Netizens agreed the owner should be punished for her action. They should have a dog license and then, we know how to deal with the owner. She should get fined, said Guess What Too. Now, it was quite heartwarming, however, to see that quite a few stompers wanted to go to the block right at the moment to help out the dog. Indeed, remember Gandhi's wise words, the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Wise words. In the next clip, we look at how some Singaporeans have been caught in public being cheapskates.